Hey what's up guys, it's me Mike and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to create a Tron wallpaper. Um, this was inspired by the Tron Legacy movie and I thought it was a really cool tutorial I want to share with you guys so here we go. Now one thing I want to share with you is not going to be a big project file, it's just going to be one file that you, you will have to download which is um, this font called Street Cred. Now Street Cred uh, has some cool uh, line shaped uh, uh, font so I thought this was really cool and kind of resembled the uh, Tron movie alright now um, if you head over to my site which will be in the video description you can see um, a little brief description of how um, you know what inspired me to do this and also the video that you're watching now will be on my website as well so if you're on my website you can check that out and like I said in my uh, video I'm making a 1440 by 900 wallpaper. All right, so to create this Tron wallpaper, uh, go to File New, and like I said, I'm gonna do 1440 by 900, and I'm actually gonna include one of the uh, pattern backgrounds. That way, you guys can uh, use that as well. Okay, so after you've um, created a new background, you want to double click and unlock it. And double click again to go into your layer style. Um, for this one, we're going to go down to gradient. And I'll include the gradient and the pattern in this one as well. Both gradients I'll use is uh, this light blue one and this dark blue. I mean, this black color. So select the black color. We're going to use that for our, our, our background. And we're going to select the blend mode and we're going to select hard light. Now select pattern overlay and we're going to select that uh, pattern that I included into the project file and just press OK. Alright, so once we have that we're going to keep that layer and lock it. Cool. Now um, next what we're going to do is select our line tool. So hold, in, hold um, that shape button over there and select line tool. Alright, so after you have your line tool we're going to uh, bring up our grid. So go to view and you're going to want to make sure you show grid alright and after we do that okay guys so um, I'll make this quick so first off we're going to have our line tool we're going to make sure we set the width of it the pixels is going to be about 10 now we're going to start off at the corner we're going to start outside of the document so that way we don't have to worry about um, any um, type of oh wait I'm sorry, we don't have to do that. Excuse me. <laughs> um, we're going to start off uh, on this line right here, the first line. And we're going to hold shift so we can create a perfect uh, line. And then we're going to let go of the left mouse button. But still holding on to shift. Um, and you're going to see the little plus symbol at the, at the, um, on the little cur cursor. So next we're going to uh, bring it down just a little bit until we hit like the next two boxes down but diagonally like that and let that go and uh, next what we're going to do is uh, we're going to press and hold again and bring it down a few squares like let's say about what was this three six seven squares down if you're working on a 1440 by 900 if you're working on a smaller one your squares might be a little bit different so I might do it about six squares down let that go and right there I'm gonna go diagonal about two squares again and uh, click over here and then go straight across and I'm gonna go outside of the document that way you know we don't have to leave it inside and everything alright so cool now we're gonna undo our grid okay so after we've done that our grid looks a little bit transparent because it's on soft light so I'm gonna go ahead and select normal and now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a layer style so double click on it we're gonna give this a layer style we're gonna go give it a inner shadow and make sure your distance is set to zero the outer glow we're gonna give it like a uh, aqua blue type neon blue electric blue type color um, just named like three blues <laughs> alright now for the size we're gonna put at least 35 something like that so as you can see the preview this is how it looks and now for the gradient you can go into the projects files and find this um, uh, 
like this aqua blue gradient kind of thing all right and we're going to give it a stroke now the stroke is going to be about two or one we yeah, set the size to one and put it inside for the position and uh we should be done with that and press okay so now that you're done with that we're going to press ctrl j on our keyboard and make a duplicate copy of it and then we're going to press ctrl t on our keyboard and resize it now press and hold shift and alt on your keyboard so we're going to uh move it down like that and we're going to extend it out just a little bit just like that and press ok now it does look a little bit uh, too close so I'm going to uh, bring it out just a little bit more just like that now in our layers panel we're going to select those two shape layers we're going to link them together and now we're going to go drag them both and select the copy of it make a copy of both of those now go to edit go to transform and flip horizontal all right cool now that we have flip horizontal we're gonna drag over to our new shape and to it looks like it's kind of like this diamond kind of thing like that and cool now we're gonna uh, select those two new layer shapes we made and press ctrl e on our keyboard to merge them together and now we're gonna select our blending options and we're gonna make sure we select exclusion exclusion is kind of gonna make it blend a little more and make it look a little better um, now you can always go to these settings and make it any way you want but um, I use exclusion and I set the opacity to about 70 70 alright so after we set our opacity to uh, 70 um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and create our font so we're gonna go into our project file and select that street cred font and install it if you don't know how to install it just right click on it and if you're running windows vista which i'm sure most of you are uh, just select um install and it should install then go into your photoshop and select the street cred uh font so our font we're going to use is going to be i think 36 and we're going to put tron it's an all capital font so you know if you're thinking about a uh, lowercase font you're not going to get that in this one so we have our Tron now we're going to edit it double click on it we're going to give it a we're going to do basically the exact same thing um we're going to give it an inner shadow make sure it's set to zero for the distance and the size you can give it to five looks good maybe ten maybe even better the outer glow we're going to set the aqua blue again um you know i'm not you know it's not a different kind of blues here but i'm going to set the uh the size to about 15 um, okay never mind guys what we're gonna do is uh, since we have right clicked and copy layered style on our one of our shape layers we're just gonna uh, paste our uh, our um, layer style on the Tron but we're going to go into the gradient uh, aspect of it and turn that off in a way right and give it our inner shadow make sure that's set to 10 and um, as we zoom in, you're gonna see how it looks just like that. It looks pretty good. I, I, you know, I like the effect. And um, maybe for the outer glow, we can drop the outer glow down to about 30. You know, maybe not too large of an outer glow, and press OK. So we have our Tron effect, and uh, we're gonna just zoom out a little bit, and we're gonna go and uh, create our new lines. We're gonna bring back our grid. And a lot of times you can just eyeball this and just uh, create some really cool effects doing this. So I'm just going to create some lines here like that. And uh, again, as you can see, it's set to soft light. So I have to go ahead and fix that. But I created this cool lines that looks like, you know, a circuitry like that. If you look on a, a, circ um, a circuit board of something, you see these um, weird diagonal lines and things like that. So I kind of got my ideas from that. So... I'm going to change the opacity back to normal and uh, going to merge them together control E and right click and paste layer style on it alright and after you've done that press control J to duplicate it and we're going to select our move tool and 
Okay, we're gonna move uh, our duplicated layer over to the side just a little bit, and you're done. You're just we're gonna nudge it down just a little bit. Do that with your diagonal keys on your keyboard. Okay, and uh, we're gonna select our Tron, and we're gonna move it over into the center just a little bit. Bring it up and remove our our stuff and there you go you have your Tron effect um, wallpaper here so hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial if you need any more help with this please leave a comment below and I'll definitely try my best to help you it's me Mike from CNYKArts.com where arts have no limits see you guys later happy holidays